How's it going guys? Today I'm making a video on Shut Up 10 which is one of my favorite Windows 10 applications. It is a free anti-spy tool and it basically protects your privacy, and lets you control your Windows updates again, blocks telemetry among other things that we'll take a look at in this video. So to get to this web page just click the link in the description below and once you've arrived on this page what you want to do is just click this big green download button and I'm just going to save this executable to my desktop. And there's no installation process for this software. It's just a standalone executable because if it was installed, Microsoft would remove it. So once we're on the desktop or wherever you saved it, just launch the program. I'm gonna click yes, and then up comes shut up 10. Now you'll see a lot of these have a lot of these protective features have been enabled for me, but for you guys it will probably look something like this which is totally fine so to enable the protection what we want to do is go to file or actions rather this drop down menu and just click apply all recommended settings and you'll see that a lot of them turn green it blocks things like telemetry advertising id advertisements through bluetooth like a lot of this stuff honestly i didn't even know existed it's crazy it blocks all of it um <clears throat> it also blocks uh peer-to-peer -peer networks which is good because that uses up a lot of resources without people's knowledge or consent it, it disables tricks and you know advertisements and lock screen so again tons of stuff there's no possible way I could run through this entire list and explain everything but again that's the great part about the software is just you can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes and what it's changing um, another thing I also like to do is just disable Outlook or OneDrive rather because I don't use it and it's just kind of lower but let's say you need to go back for whatever reason so like let's say you, you make these changes and something stops working well all you need to do is go to the actions drop down menu again except this time you click undo all changes and it'll set it back to the factory settings um, which I highly recommend not using but you can if you want if, if you need to for whatever reason so once you've made all the changes all you need to do is just click the top right corner here this little exit button and it's going to say do you want to close oh no yeah I do um, and then it'll say you need to reboot because some of the changes require a reboot which makes sense so which point you just click restart windows and then boom you're off you're good to go so that's going to do it for this video guys I hope this helped you if it did leave a like if it didn't leave a dislike if you have any questions or comments Please leave them below. I get back to all of them, and I'll see you guys next video.